Religious fanaticism. What is it? Religious fanaticism is when someone or a group of people has extreme ideas about religion. Religious fanatics use religion as the bait. In the cycle of prejudice, this is seen as repression because the religious fanatics are seen using violence to spread a message. Religious fanatics use violence in order to express their anger for revenge to send a message of the seriousness of the situation. They use religious tales to justify their actions. A famous example of a group of religious fanatics well known around the world is the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant, ISIS, also known as the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria. Lately, religious fanaticism is becoming more and more prevalent in our society. This sort of repression by ISIS has brought attention to itself. In the last 17 years, there were 99 terrorist attacks coming from ISIS. There were 14 attacks in 2013, 7 in 2014, 23 in 2015, 36 in 2016, and 19 so far in 2017. These events ended in killing many innocent people, about 4,006 and have injured about 15,272. On March 22, 2017, ISIS attacked a concert in Manchester. On the 5th of June, 2017, our latest attack from religious fanatics on the London Bridge. These terrorist attacks happened to my country, in France, and I heard a lot of information about it. Religious fanaticism happens a lot in our world, and it is difficult to prevent it. It can happen anytime, any day, anywhere. Religious fanaticism hurts and kills a lot of people. Nowadays, people live in fear of what would happen to them. In France, my homeland, people have lived in fear ever since the first attack in Paris, 2015. ISIS have claimed responsibility for the extreme terror attacks all around the world. Islamic extremists use the command in their religion as a shield of their actions of revenge and at times to gain power. Two extreme attacks happened in France in 2015. The first one in January in Paris at an old journal called Charlie Hebdo. This caused widespread panic and global support. The second attack happened nine months later. It was again a sign of repression. This attack was planned by 10 people. It also happened in Paris on November the 13th, 2015. The French president, François Hollande, blamed ISIS for the heinous attacks. Later on, the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant, ISIS, claimed responsibility for the terror cause. Many people died from that attack, and many were hurt. Now, to prevent these attacks of religious fanatics, it is important to take time to learn about the different religions. What do they do? What do they teach? It is important to learn about these things happening in the world, to not join a religious group blindly, or not knowing what's happening next.